today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on how to um, apply foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter, just kind of a whole face routine. Um, so during the in demo, the in demo, it's kind of like instructions and demo. Anyway, um, <clears throat> got this dang frog in my throat. Go away. Anyway, um, you will see that I already have my brows, my eyes, and my lip on. Um, the rest of my face is bare, um, except for I did put moisturizer on before. But you're gonna see my face in all of its <laughs> bare glory. It's not very pretty. I do have a, a little bit of an uneven texture, or uneven texture. I have texture in an uneven skin tone. I do have quite a bit of acne right now. It's all clearing up, but it's in that um, like flat red stage. It's not like a bump anymore, with the exception of like this one right here. But yeah, so hopefully this is informative for you. And if you guys want um, me to do a tutorial on how I did my eye look today, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off with my Laura Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. Um, I love this primer. It's paraben-free, oil-free, and fragrance-free. It is a silicone base, so it's great for someone like me that has large pores, that has oiliness. Um, I'm really concentrating it on my nose, the sides of my nose, tops of my cheeks, um, right in my forehead and my chin, and then any excess I have, I'm just rubbing in my face. Um, if you have more dry skin, this might not be the best primer for you and you might find that it's a little too drying so I wouldn't recommend it for anyone with dry skin next I'm going to take my Tarte um, CC under eye corrector I do have some dark circles under my eyes that I'd like to conceal this is a really pretty peachy light kind of a salmon color um, and it really helps counteract the darkness of those under eye circles and I want to put this on before my foundation just because it is slightly more of a peachy color if you put it on after you put your foundation on it can look um, a little orangey a little little just not as natural as it would if you put it on before you put your primer or your foundation on so the next I'm gonna take my favorite foundation this is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation um, I am in the shade 1N1 or Ivory Nude. Basically, I'm very, very, very white, as you can see. And I'm just taking a dampened uh, Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. The one thing I don't like about this foundation is it does not have a pump, but um, I just dump some out on the back of my hand and then I dip my sponge in it and kind of dot it on my face. And then you're just gonna buff and blend that all in. You're gonna pat, 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 pat your face. And when you're done patting, you're gonna pat a little bit more. I like to bring this up over and into my ears, um, onto my jawline, down to my neck a little bit, just so you have a very seamless look. This foundation is really nice too because it is a little bit buildable. So on days like today where I'm feeling like I need that extra coverage, I can go ahead and apply a little bit more. The other thing I like about it is that it doesn't dry very fast, so it's really easy to work with. Um, as you can see, I did dab it all over my face, and it will still be really easy to blend on my forehead and my cheek um, when I get to that. So I really love this foundation. Um, it stays on beautifully, especially on days where I'm at the salon and I'm doing a full set of foils and I'm blow drying and I'm sweating, and this is like amazing it's sweat proof it is stay proof it's just awesome 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 if you are looking for a really good cons uh, foundation I highly recommend this this is me also going oh my gosh all these little flyaways all these little baby hairs they're irritating me I can't get rid of them
Okay, so next, <clears throat> I'm gonna take mine and everybody else's favorite concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm in the color Light. I love this concealer. It's got such a great texture, such a great consistency and formula. It stays put. Um, the concealer I was using before this was also by Tarte, so they just make amazing concealers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it under my eyes, up on my forehead a little bit, around my nose, my smile lines, and a little bit on my chin and any blemishes that need a little extra covering. I'm gonna put it on those as well. It's nice, <clears throat> excuse me, it's nice to use as a concealer, but it also helps brighten up the under eye. So again, I'm gonna take my Miracle Sponge and dab that all out and make it nice and blend it in with my foundation. So then I'm going to take this little brush, it's by Tarte, it is called the Undercover Lover, and I have what I like to call the Grand Canyon side nostrils, so um, I go ahead and I put that right on in there, and it really gets my concealer and my foundation nice and blended in. And then I'm going to go ahead and I just um, kind of fixed any little bit around my lip area. Next I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightening Powder. I'm going to take a Real Techniques Mini Miracle Sponge for the under eyes and I'm just going to bake so to speak. I don't leave this on very long and I don't put a whole heck of a lot on there. It's more of a, a nuke I guess would be a good way to put it. Um, just underneath my eyes do not put this, found, or this powder all over your face. It is a brightening powder so it's going to make your whole face really bright if you do it all over. Also this is the sponge. If you watched my last video, I said that one of my cats took the sponge and they did. I found it. It was um, in one of their little blankets, little turkeys. I knew they took it. So next, while that bakes or nukes, um, I'm going to take my It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This is a finishing powder and I'm just going to rub this all over the rest of my face. It keeps me matte. It keeps um, a nice airbrush look. I love this stuff. And then I'm just going to wipe off any of the excess um, Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to rub this down on my neck and get it all nice and blended. So next I'm going to take the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I am in love with this. It smells so good. It smells like coconuts and pineapple. It's just so delicious. They do have two colors. They have light bronze and bronze. I'm pretty dang white, so I use the bronze. And then um, I'm just going to chisel, chisel, chisel out the hollows of my cheekbones. Um, if you have problems finding it, you can kind of roll the brush up and you'll hit the bone. Or you can do about the top of your ear. Um, I kind of already have a little bit of naturally hollowed out cheekbones, so I just follow my natural line. I'm doing a very, very light bronze slash contour today. I'm not doing anything super heavy or crazy. This is more of just like an everyday thing that I do. Something easy and um, just a natural glow. So I am putting some of this on the top of my forehead and then I'm going to do some on the top or on the sides of my nose and then on my chin and a little bit on my jawline. And if you want, you can add as little or as much of this as you would like. Like I said, I am not adding on too, too much. Um, I am going to switch brushes. This is a very fluffy concealer brush that I'm going to switch to and use to contour the sides of my nose. I hate my nose. I've always wanted a nose job. But I am going to take it from my eyebrow and all the way down to the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to put some on the sides of my nostrils as well. This just kind of gives it a nice seamless shadowed effect. Um, I'm not a big fan of when people just stop their contour right at the bridge of their nose. It bothers me. I don't know what to tell you. It just does. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of blending with my um, sponge and just kind of sharpen up the edges. 
and I feel like I need a little bit more of concealer down the bridge of my nose since I um, put the bronzer on. So again, I'm just gonna take that same little brush and just buff that in the center and really define those center lines. Much better. So next I'm gonna take the Too Faced um, Love Flush blush in baby love this is my all-time favorite blush i use this every day it goes on with so many great looks i just love it um again you can add as little or as much of the blush as you'd like i love this blush so i do add it and we are just buffing and blending that in i like to focus on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it outwards towards my temple and just kind of upwards swooping motions and circular blending motions just to kind of get it all nice and even on there. So next I'm gonna grab some highlighter. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow and this is in Rosy Gold, or sorry, Rosy Glow. Um, I really like this. You can use either just the white or the pink side. I like to swirl them both in and I'm gonna go right on the top of my cheekbone and highlight that. Highlighter is again something you can do as little or as much as you'd like. I do have kind of oily skin so I don't put quite as much highlighter on as some other people. I just have that natural glow from within that if I add too much highlighter um, I look a little sweaty so I just add a little bit to my cheekbones, a little bit on my cupid's bow and at the center of my chin. But if you want to shine like the top of the Chrysler building, go ahead, you do you, boo. And finally, to finish the look, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Pr or Primer Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I seriously can't live without it. And that is it, you guys. That is the whole foundation and face. Hopefully, this was informative and helped you guys out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope it was fairly easy for you to follow. Um, hopefully you can do this with any of the products you have at your house. Um, I am wanting to do this same kind of a tutorial with drugstore products. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. And yeah, please like this video if you haven't already. And make sure you subscribe to my page before you go. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.